Rico Rock Acrylic Stain, the fast and easy way to color artificial rock. Rico Rock Acrylic Stain is available in touch-up kits, quart bottles, gallon size, or five gallon size. There are some important things to remember when using our stains. Never add water to the stain bottle. Also shake the spray bottles before and during use. The stains come in spray bottles. With a garden hose and sponge, almost anyone can color their own rock. Our process has been used to color thousands of waterfalls over the last 10 years. The All Rico Rock modular products are colored at the factory in an off-white color scheme using only rust and antique. We deliberately undercolor the rock because many people prefer a neutral look. It is much easier to add color than to remove color once it is applied. Start the coloring process by washing off the rocks. This removes any dirt or dust that might be on the surface, but it's also an important part of the coloring process. The goal is to apply the stain to a damp surface for a softer look. If the stains are applied to a dry surface, the colors will be quite strong. After wetting the rock, allow it to dry for a few minutes. How long depends on the weather conditions at the time of coloring. If it is sunny and hot, you will need to re-wet the surface often. You can use a sprayer of water instead of a garden hose to make the surface damp. The first color that is applied is the accent color. In this case, rust is being applied in a random fashion. You should avoid trying to make the surface uniform. Rocks look better if the color pattern is irregular. Before the stain has a chance to dry, a sponge is used to wipe off drips and runs. Sponging can also be used to spread the color more evenly or to remove color. As the rock surface dries out, more stain can be applied, but it will be stronger. This creates an interesting pattern of different intensities of color. The first accent color will dry in just a few minutes, again depending on the weather conditions. After it is dried to the touch, you can re-wet the rock, allow it to partially dry, and apply a second color. In this sequence, Alex is applying antique. This coffee colored stain is used to age the rock, so it is primarily used in the cracks, crevices, and areas of heavy texture. Sponging off the excess with a clean sponge is important or the rock surface will darken. The color that accumulates on the sponge will stick to any area of the rock that is wiped down, but the darkening effect will not be apparent until the rock dries. Washing the sponge often is important, just as a watercolor artist constantly cleans his brushes with water. The next process we want to show is how to create earth tone colors using all four Rico Rock acrylic stains. Because our cast concrete color is off-white, we want to create a different base color. The best technique is to saturate the rock and apply the tan while the surface is still very wet. This is more of a wash to create a uniform tan color. It is different than applying accent colors or antique. Sponging should be done lightly, mostly to remove puddles of stain. Applying stains to a dry rock for a stronger base coat is not recommended because the surface will look pasty. The color will not have much depth, much like what happens when you paint a natural rock. The tan base coat must be completely dry before adding the next layers of stain. If color is added before the base coat dries, the result will be a muddy color. After the initial color dries, re-wet the rock and add either rust or reddish brown or both at the same time. Reddish brown and rust are the only colors that can be blended together. We recommend putting on a light layer of color and allowing it to dry for several hours. The color seems stronger when the rock is dry and it's easy to get carried away with the fun of coloring and apply too much. More colors can be added at any time. Sponging the excess color is just as important as applying the color. Remember to shake those stain bottles and rinse your sponge with clean water often. Antique is used as the final color, but after the other colors are completely dry. If you add too much antique, it gives the rock a cartoon look. There is no right or wrong. Whatever you do, there is a natural rock somewhere that looks just like it. Coloring a vertical wall is easier than coloring a boulder because there's not as much puddling that has to be sponged away. An important thing to remember though 
is that when coloring a large surface, it is important to have different intensities of color and to avoid polka dots that are created by spraying a circular pattern every two feet. Some rock artists like to create intense color patterns that run in layers or other natural looking rock color schemes. Many people prefer a more uniform look. Custom colors are available through Rico Rock Managers. Some dealers use chemical stains or mix paint tints with our acrylic stain to create unique colors or more intense color. Speckles of off-white and black can create a salt and pepper granite look but that tends to camouflage the rock texture. A good color job brings out the character of the castings. Coloring is the best time to blend hand textured areas into the castings. It helps if the mortar used in the hand textured areas is the same base color as the castings. Riga Rock has rainbow cement for this purpose. Hand textured areas might soak up more stain than the castings, but they will color the same if the base color is similar. The rock color should last for several years, fading very gradually. Most people would rather have a bleached look to the rock than to have the rocks recolored every five or ten years, but they can be recolored at any time unless the sealer prevents penetration of the stain.